Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Lux Oracle. Good evening, good night, and let's tap into a late night message from your person. Let's tap into a late night message from your person. I'm getting something could have just popped off, okay? Yeah, sleepless here and regret. Something could have just popped off. Your person can't sleep. Your person can't live down the things that they have done to you, okay? Or the things, I'm hearing the things that they have done to themselves, child, okay? This person could have just found themselves wrapped up in cycles or in experiences that they know they shouldn't be in, okay? Something of that nature. Yeah, illusion. It's like this person fell for a trap here, okay? I'm hearing the devil is a liar, so it's like... Your person fell for something that looked good on the outside. Or it's like maybe they it didn't even look good on the outside, y'all. But it's like this person was such in a low vibration that they got fooled, okay? They got fooled. What is this, spirit? I just keep hearing my body's calling for you. I can hear you calling me. Oh, twin flame signs. Yeah, this person feels like your energy is calling them here. Okay, your person feels like um, they are connected to you in, in more than how, in a, <laughs> in a way that they can't explain here, okay? If they try to explain this connection to other people, they can't put it into words, okay? They can't put how they feel about you into words. This person could be saving up, okay? This person could be saving up. My body's calling. Yes. I'm hearing signs at a time. I say all the time. Planning my soul just gets harder to find it. Yeah, it's like this love is deep in their soul. It's like this love is attached to this person's awakening. This love is attached to this person's soul purpose. And it's becoming hard to fight here. Okay, definitely go listen to the song Drake Signs by Drake here. Okay, it didn't get released because it, it got leaked. But definitely go listen to it, okay? And I'm hearing the song with Rima and Drake, that song that got leaked. She did play with my energy, nonstop, baby, and I knew you messing with a gangsta. Ooh, girl, wait for your karma. Okay, so somebody could have messed with somebody or somebody could have tried to manipulate somebody's energy and it's like they're receiving karma at this time. But it's like this person feels like you did some type of love spell on them. You did some type of voodoo on them because it's like they don't have no other way to explain how they feeling about you at this time. Okay? If you want to leave, just leave. No pressure. Okay, so it's like, you could have told this person, listen, if you don't get your act together, I'm leaving. Okay, and maybe they didn't believe you. Okay, maybe it took you walking away for this person to go through this metamorphosis or for this person to change here. If you want to leave, just leave. No pressure. No, no, no pressure. I will miss ya. Okay, so it's like this person is letting you know that they do miss you. But they could have they could have not put up a fight because of their ego here, okay? They could have not put up a fight because their ego. Somebody could be slamming doors around the house. Or it's like you slammed the door when you walked out and it, it's been cold ever since, honey. It's been cold ever since. If you wanna leave, just leave no pressure. No pressure at all. Another banga. Okay, so I'm getting it's supposed to be another go around with this person. And we have divine timing. So this is gonna happen in divine timing. I'm seeing 11 11, 2 2 2, 12 22. Okay, so you could have seen those recently. You could have seen those today. But I just looked at my run double run liquid and it's like I just feel like this person is it's like they were going down their north node. Now they're running the totally opposite way. It's like, I don't know what type of... I'm hearing that song by Katy Perry. I'm wide awake. Okay, so it's like this person has woken up. And they no longer are going down the wrong paths here. Yeah, I need you here. This person knows that they need you in their life. They know that this love is the key to their soul's purpose. Okay? Yeah, surprise here. What is the surprise, spirit? For some of y'all, y'all could have expected y'all's person to surprise you and then was let down. And that could have triggered you into thinking like, you know what? You really not, you really, you know, like, are you serious or no? Tell me right now. Okay. And this person didn't give you a right answer and you walked right out the door, child. Okay. 
something of that nature. Yeah, unspoken. Because this person constantly did not speak up for the love that they have for you. They constantly held back their emotions. They constantly held back moving forward with you here. Okay. I'm seeing 14 and 11. 14, 11. I'm seeing 25, 22, 23, 12, 4, 9, 13. Okay, so those could be in your phone number, your address. Open, opening up. So now this person's, they're opening up emotionally, okay? They're be, they're becoming, they're, they're starting to feel safe in their vulnerability now. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck is new beginnings. So they're wanting to start a new beginning in this connection. I am getting ready to start. Wait, there's so many typos on these cards. I am getting ready to say what's in my heart. I know that this is love. It's true. And it's, you know what, with all these typos, it's like this person could have made a lot of mistakes in life. But it's like now they are open and ready for love. Now they are open and ready to answer the call now they are open and ready to go down the path of divinity i am getting ready to say what's in my heart i know that this is love it's true unconditional and every and everlasting kind of love i want you to know i am trying to open up but it is so hard for me to put my feelings for you into words but i know i have to do this and you need to hear them what did i say this person had a hard time being vocal about how they felt okay this person had a hard time being vulnerable but that's coming to an end that's coming to an end yeah and we got thinking that came out in reverse so it's like this person is no longer going to be in their head this person is no longer going to be stuck in the mental realm here okay this person is going to bring their thoughts into reality they're going to bring their thoughts into you know words here and they're going to express how they feel about you it's like their heart is opening up here. Their heart chakra is awakening. And we've been picking up the heart chakra awakening for a long time. And, you know, that shit don't happen overnight. So it's like it's coming to, you know, fruition or it's being it's it's completing. OK, it's like this person is going through a heart chakra awakening. And then from there on out, they're just going to have a balanced heart chakra. OK, so it's like expect this person to be um, become healthier in their emotions, to become more available you know, emotionally to become more like they're going to open up more. You're going to see a more vulnerable side to this person here. Okay. You're going to see a more vulnerable side to this person. This person could even tell you something that you never knew about them. Okay. They could tell you something that happened in their childhood that you never knew. They could open up about, you know, experiences that they had in their childhood that you never new and i'm seeing this um documentary or it wasn't a documentary it was a vlog of someone traveling to africa and it was like this tribe that did like street fighting i think it was in nigeria it was like street fighters so this person could you know be raised in a or was raised in a survival environment or this person could have fought a lot they could have got picked on a lot okay they could have um gotten bullied okay or it's like they just all they life they had to fight okay all they life they had to fight they was not worried about emotions they they didn't have space for emotions in the life and in the world that they grew up in okay and they're realizing that as an adult that that is not you know everyone's experience not to say it's bad or good but that's not everybody's experience okay growing up in survival mode and it's like this person is realizing that that's not the way to be for forever okay it's okay to heal okay this person is realizing that it's okay to heal it's okay to want to heal it's okay to seek therapy it's okay to acknowledge that you are not you know in the best place mentally physically spiritually it is okay that is the first step to making changes that is the first step to being a better version of yourself here okay and people this person could have had a lot of blockages a lot of people around them um that that energetically did not want to see them evolve here simply because they they needed a partner in crime okay they needed a partner in crime and, and your person was their favorite partner in crime but no more no more <sighs> no more okay Versace could be significant because I just looked at my road. And I didn't know it was right there. 
yeah, transparency. And then it's a it's a child on this card crying, okay? So it's like something that this person has seen as a child has scarred and traumatized them for life. Okay, this could have been 13 or I'm hearing eight between between eight years old and 13 years old. This person saw something that changed the trajectory of their life, okay? This person could have saw a cold-blooded murder, okay? This person could have saw someone die like right in front of them, okay? Or something this person could have saw just something real traumatic that just made them look at life different or made them move through life different here silence okay this is something that this person never spoke about or this is something that this person suffered with in silence here okay for some of y'all this person could have been touched here okay i'm hearing abused abandoned okay this person had a very hurtful childhood and your person could be like a little childish or okay or an adult and spirit is coming through to let me know that it's because this person was robbed of their childhood like like they didn't get to like do child things like this person was in survival mode from the time they came out the womb here okay so it's like if you feel like your person does childish things or like they still enjoy games they still enjoy video games i'm here in 44 so your person could be 44 years old and they be playing video games okay not too much on them okay let up on them because that's something that they never got to experience okay they never got to experience games we have i love you coming out so it's like this person is letting you know yeah divine guidance and hold me this person yearns for your physical love, okay? But they love you just as much in the spiritual. Y'all are connecting just as much in the spiritual here. And I'm getting in no time. Y'all are going to be in the physical just cuddling, okay? Just cuddling. And it's like for some of y'all, your person, you probably didn't like to cuddle or your person didn't like to cuddle for a long time because it made them feel, okay? It made them mushy. It made them gushy. It made them vulnerable here. And it was a foreign thing to them. Yeah, spark. Okay, new beginnings and wait. Okay, so there was a wait. It was a hold on this new beginning. But I mean, I'm seeing like, you know, like when you sit next to the kitchen at a restaurant and you see people, you know, rushing out the kitchen with their trays or with the food. It's like this is about to come in hot and ready. Okay, your person is about to be healed and it's about to be fast. Your person is about to be healed and it's about to be fast. Okay. Yeah, I miss you. We have I love you and I miss you coming out on this spread. Okay, and that is what this person is going to let you know, that they love you and that they miss you heavily here. Okay, heavily. Heavily. I'm hearing um, so much better. Can I show my love for you? Okay. And I don't even know if those are the words so much better, but it's like this person is coming through to let me know that they are so much better, okay? They are really healing at this time. I'm seeing bandages. I'm seeing a hospital. So it's like this person was going through hella spiritual upgrades at this time, or this person was being worked on energetically here, okay? And it's like we have let go of fear popping out. They are letting go of fear. Yeah, my world. You open this person up to a whole new world. You open this person up to a different perspective here. Yeah, with the unique card coming out and blessed and unique. You make this person feel blessed. You make this person feel like they have something to live for. They have something to thrive for here, okay? This is beautiful. I'm kidding. This person has cried in the darkness thinking about you in this connection. This person has cried in the darkness thinking about you and this connection here okay yeah i just put the deck on mine on mine on mine yeah on mine on mine on mine yeah because we have soon okay so soon you are about to be in union with this person and they are going to be claiming you okay and somebody could ooh. Uh, Okay, so somebody's person could be taking them shopping. Somebody's person could be buying them a car. Okay, and I'm thinking about one of my personal clients who told me that she was manifesting her man or a man purchasing a, what did she say, a Porsche? I forget what she said. But I think she said it, it was like a red color or something of that nature. So somebody could be about to be getting a luxury gift, a big gift here, okay? 
for others of y'all, somebody could be just put, you know, putting gas in your car. Okay. Somebody could be, you know, making sure your tires are good. Somebody could be um, paying for your groceries here. Okay. Something real thoughtful. I'm seeing AirPods. Okay. I know my man has to get me some AirPods, but yeah, take it as it resonates you all. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.